Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Boy, howdy, it's been a while since I've been sat in front of a camera like this. I've been doing so many different kinds of experimental content, and also I've just had a big drought on sets coming into Hong Kong. But today we're breaking back into it with a set that I've been looking forward to opening for a long time, this UNSC Marines Customizer Pack. Quite an old one, but goodness me, does it have a lot to offer. Not as many armors as most customizer packs, but this one comes with so many weapons, a flame marine, which, you know, I think anybody in the OG Megabloks community just appreciates flame marines even more. And obviously anyone that even played Halo Wars because it was a much smaller fan base. But yeah, I think the people that appreciate Halo Wars are the same as like ODST. They are diehard fans. So here we've got two crates, a dozen weapons and some extra armors with two marines in really sick colors. And you may notice this is not only taped up, but it's been taped up multiple times. This is one of the only sets that, believe it or not, I haven't unboxed since I moved to Hong Kong. It's been about seven or eight months that this has literally just been sat there, but I was waiting for the right time to open it. Specifically, I was waiting for a time to do a dual review. So episode two will be coming out tomorrow of the Covenant Armor Customizer Pack. And these guys, let's break them open. First, we've got these crates. Yes, this has been opened once before, just to check everything. And this was provided, like so many of my sets, by World Trader for Mega Constructs. Those guys are the number one buy-sell trade community on Facebook, or really on the internet that I've found for Halo Mega Constructs, and they're on Facebook at World Trader for Mega Constructs. Please do check them out. They've hooked me up with so many sets in the past, and even ran a giveaway for a UNSC Infinity before, so those guys are the real deal. These flame pieces I've already put together. It's like four different pieces. Actually, really nice. I preach time and time again that Mega Constructs does not release enough diorama set pieces, so any crates are much appreciated. Let's pop everything out and check what we have. Whoa, that one shot all the way towards the door. There we go. All right, the first one that always springs to attention is this Flame Marine. Now, Flame Marines were in the very first wave of Mega Blocks. So these guys are super iconic and they were out of the game for many years. Mega Constructs brought them back and louder than ever. So really sweet to have a buildable element. We'll insert that there and whoa, he's looking great. What else does he need to complete his look? We've got the Flamethrower, no printed detailing, but that's okay. It looks really nice. This is the Halo 3 design. I guess I guess it might be Halo Wars as well, but I always sort of refer to it as Halo 3. Those long nights on Floodgate, flaming all of those spores. Yeah, this is awesome. This Marine doesn't have the original pipeline that used to run to his backpack, which is a bit of a shame, but he does come with a flamethrower piece. And that looks amazing. I did a little challenge a while ago after seeing a comment where I burnt the end of this with a little lighter. Now, I don't recommend using fire without parental permission, but it does add a really nice scorch to the end. So maybe it's something you should consider getting your parents to help you with. This flamethrower, I, it looks amazing. I love the green and black on his armor. They pop and sort of complement each other. And this is overall such an outstanding figure. The other Marine, we've had a load of these Halo 4, 5 inspired Marines before. I have always loved him. My original favorite was the Desert Marine that came in so many sets, including a blind bag. And this one is just a nice iteration, a light skin tone with gold sunglasses, white, black, and green running all the way through his armor. It would be nice to have some kind of colored details touching up the shoulders or on the chest, but a, you know, for the price, this is a very, very cheap set, keep in mind. So this is still a really great figure. This set only comes with one set of armor extra, and to show that off today, we've got this operator. He came in the Spartan Customizer Pack in 2020. We'll pop all of that armor off and show you what we've got in store. Yeah, I chose a black undersuit just to really show this Marine off. And we've got ourselves a really cool stealth op Marine. Now that is, that is awesome. You know me, I love my black figures. And we've also got these two knee pads. I won't put them on because, you know, we've got these Spartan ones and he does look great with those, but they're nice spares. And and we'll give him something. Yeah, we'll give him the SOCOM pistol. He's a he's a stealth op marine, you know. Maybe the battle rifle on his back. Yeah, this is this is awesome. 
Really cool figure. What should we give this one? So yeah, the, the weapons in this set include the SOCOM pistol, flamethrower, the sniper rifle, and assault rifle. They're all in different styles from different games. This is definitely the most revised sort of Halo 5 Guardians sniper rifle. This is definitely the Halo 5 Guardians rocket launcher, but at least the original Sputniker is in Halo 5 as well. I thought that was an amazing touch at the time. We'll give him the rocket launcher on his back and the sniper rifle. <laughs> no, we won't. It's rolled off the table. Rocket launcher and sniper rifle for him looking amazing really nice and then we've got a spare assault rifle we don't actually have any space to give these marines the assault rifle but hey ho there are three unsc operatives or maybe two unsc one only operative maybe he's been sent in to give some more sort of classified orders to these guys it was originally a simple mission but they discovered something under the ice <laughs> that's a halo wars reference but i guess these are halo 4 5 era i also did notice an amazing feature this cardboard packaging kind of has the domains logo in the back background so big credit for that one and yeah overall this is a really exceptional set you can still actually find this at places like dollar general even though it's so many years old we've got the flame marine and this unsc marine i guess the oni style marine his armor is meant to be swapped out with this one though his legs wouldn't be matching so it is a bit of a funny color choice but i like it all the same and we've also got a spare assault rifle let me know in the comments guys have you found this set do you prefer this over other customizer packs i would love to find the odst T customizer pack at some point. And next episode, we're going to unbox the Covenant armor customizer pack. Please do let me know if you're happy that I've returned to standard reviews. Please like this video if you enjoyed what you see. Stay awesome out there, stay safe, and the UNSC Flame Marine is signing off.